so a lot of you guys know that i like samurai games and samurai stuff because that's in my name but not much many people know that i really am a big geek for lord of the rings so recently return to moria came out and it was on october 24th and as i played a lot of lord of the ring games only the good ones of course not Gollum or something so i wanted to check that out so i got it and let's check it out together it's like a first view first impression and i want to build on it and do more with that so let's get into it are you ready all right so we are here in the customizer the character customizer i'm pretty honest i never really really uh had created a dwarf so let me check how he should look and yeah there you have your typical shoulder chest bust belly waist stuff you have tattoos eyes colors beards of course very important personality even well let's check it out how i will take this into action that's already funny you can see like this is a real lord of the rings dwarf and then something happens to him like this that looks ugly oh my god i have to admit some of those faces look like women even the eyes are a little bit strange but yeah so now i understand why we can have female faces because as you can see we can get a little bit of bust here so bearded women are totally possible so as for my origin, I go with the style of, I don't know, how, what does look cool. Like on the one side, Lonely Mountains, but I guess I will go with that one. I don't know why I like that. It's something different. And yeah, so this is our little dwarf. So what name could he have? And we name him Samurai of Steel Hill. So let's get into it. Hey guys, it's me from the future. I tried out the game on stream last time and I really have to say I can't get warm to the game kind of. Um, it is really, I struggle with the concept of being attacked all the time, gathering a lot of resources. I like the environment, but I really was trying to refund the game. Unfortunately, um, I played it over two hours, so I can't, and that's a little bit of a shame. So what do you think, guys? Should I give it a try more and more? Should I try to get into it? Or do you think this game is really not that good? In my opinion, this game is not a full-pledged game. It seems more like it's an early access game. There are a lot of little bugs and issues that kind of make the experience a little bit sad and yeah um but i will check into it maybe maybe i missed something maybe i get better in it i don't know let me know what you experienced or maybe you have other opinions so after a short introduction to the game yeah uh, i skipped the intro unfortunately but you know what i saw a female dwarf and they are not very pretty well so let's check it out and see what we done so we brought some black powder into the mine and right now i guess we try to get out of here again let's gather some stuff seems like scrap yeah i guess this dwarf is a little bit too oh He's not too small. He can do that. Usually in those games, you can't do that. So let's go, let's go. Just what I already noticed is they use the name Lord of the Rings and Moria and stuff like that, but the characters are kind of self-designed. So they're not like in the movies or something like that. So I guess they didn't get the full license. So to be honest, I'm right now don't know what to do. 
Um, I thought it would be a tutorial, but maybe that comes later. All right, guys. So as you can see, I was a little bit stupid because I sh I am here to craft a pickaxe. I want a pickaxe. Finally, we got it. And we built another one just to be sure. So since this week, I've been listening to a lot of Lord of the Rings uh, songs. And I'm kind of like totally into the uh, thing of being a dwarf. So yeah, maybe I'm a dwarf samurai. I don't know about that. But yeah, we have to dig through. We got it. I will dig a little bit more because I saw there are some resources dropping and you never know, but it seems like that's all of them. Yeah, so far I already noticed some little problems with graphical things and, and oh, some clipping. Firelight. We are not alone. But yeah. Let's take the mushrooms. Let's get this, get this. So I will I will be playing that game for a little longer right now because recently I bought so many games and I have to play them and kind of like also finish them. Oh, a raven of Erebor. A raven of Erebor. Well, let's go. So the building is not very intuitive and because of the darkness also i couldn't see so basically yeah you pick something you want to build and then you just say where to put it all right but we made it and it's kind of cool still nothing happening nothing exciting but yeah darkness of night falls those halls look good a little bit dark here. Doors of Durin. We made it. We're inside. I think I heard orcs. Let's find it out. Yeah, so far it's nothing to say about it. It's dark. It's gritty. The movement is pretty rough, but it's okay for this kind of game. Oh, I dropped into the water. I guess I should do maybe like a torch or something. So we made it. We have a torch. There's no way west. No way out. I did not think we would see shadow cast runes in Moria. Our path then must go east. All right. Long I journey, think we are in despair. Nice. Woo. That was. Well, I guess this will be our HQ. Look, I did a hearth, a stone hearth. I don't know if you say it like this, but that's cool. You can like rebuild this post here. The outpost. That's great. And it takes a little bit of time. I like that approach. It's not like finished or something. Let's do some coal. All right. I guess we have to find more iron so we can build some steel hammer and start the forges of Moria again. If a spider skidded across my camp, That's a cool. terrible day would have she. If a spider skidded across my camp, a terrible day would have she. I'm a feisty fool with an empty fork, and if she would not flee, she would wind up caught in an eight-leg knot. Spider for dinner for me. Amazing. So let's cook something. All right, that's good. That's good. Standing torch. Standing torch would be great. So let's build a standing torch here. And one, of course, on the other side. The game is rough on the edges. All right, so let's accomplish those two last things. Let's build a bad roll. I would say a bad roll should be somewhere here. Don't mix up work and work and sleep guys i see you in the next one bye bye you should remember it you